Hi there. Hi, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to tonight's webinar. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to allow the next couple minutes for the last few folks to join us. Um, and then we'll get started. I'll go over some logistics and we'll jump right in. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making some time in what I know is a busy schedule. So, you know, it's, it's important to spend that time on, in, on a great tool that could help your business. So that's what we're going to do tonight is give you a really great glimpse of value, okay? What Teensy can do for your everyday, how it can help you be efficient and effective with everyone that you work with not just the select few, okay? So I'm gonna show you how you no longer have to scrub lists, how Teams is gonna help you be that incredible organizational tool that I know you've all heard about. So we're gonna get into a few different things, so stick with me, okay? So like I said, I'm gonna let the next couple of minutes roll by and let a few people jump on and join us, and then we'll get started. So thanks for being here. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, as I have the last few people jumping on, I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself, just kind of let you guys know where you can find everything so that you can reach out if you need me. So during tonight's call, I'm going to do a few different things. OK, here's what I have planned. First, we're going to talk about how quickly and easily you can set up your Teamsy account, because I know that can be the scary point, right? Most people are thinking I have to transition all of my data. Oh, boy, what do I do? Is all of my information going to be where I put it? Not to worry. Okay. After tonight's call, you're going to feel super confident that you'll know where to access everything in Teamsy so that you can be the most efficient as you're going through your day. So we're going to talk about setting everything up and then we're going to get into how to be a power hour boss with Teamsy because that's the beauty of a tool like Teamsy is that you can really be, you know, uh, maximizing on that hour or two hours that you might have reserved a day for your business. So I'm going to show you how you can really maximize on that time, what tools and what features to focus on. Then we're going to talk about following up like a pro because I know it and you know it. Okay. The fortune is in the follow up. So it's important for us to know, okay, we don't have to manage a third party system. I don't have to have an external calendar and my CRM system. You can have one system that helps you keep track of all of your pending follow ups, making sure that no one ever falls through the cracks. Okay, so we're gonna do setup, power hour, and following up like a pro. Once we've gotten through that, I'm gonna open up the floor to questions you may have, because I know some of you have already jumped into the system, so you might have specific questions about a particular scenario that you find yourself in. So stick with me, I will answer those questions in real time and sort of demo for you on screen, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna share with you my contact information. So please stick with me through to the end, okay? I'm gonna give you a direct contact phone number uh, you can text me, you can call me, you can email me if you need to. That way you know you've always got a point of contact. For those of you who are thinking, I'm just not tech savvy, Jay, not to worry, okay? I'm going to help you through that, and I will share all of my contact information at the end of my presentation. All right, so who is this gal that's gabbing at you, right? <laughs> my name is Jay Lisa Swain, and I'm the Director of Customer Experience here at Teensy. So all you have to remember is I'm Jay. Anytime you need help, you can always reach out to me directly. You can always shoot me an email. We're a small, close-knit team, so we're all working together to serve you guys really well, okay? All right, so here's my plan, okay? I wanna jump right in, share my screen with you, but before I do that, I wanna say one thing. I hope everyone on this call has taken advantage of that free 30-day trial. There's no credit card necessary. You get to just jump in and actually see this benefit to your business in real time before you actually make the full investment. So free 30 day trial, okay? If you haven't done so, stick with me through the call and then make sure that's what you do next. All right, let's take a look at Teamsy. So you should now be looking at my Teamsy screen. If you've already taken advantage of the free 30 day trial, maybe you logged in, you've been clicking around, trying to familiarize yourself, not to worry, okay? To get back to your setup process, you're gonna wanna go in the upper right hand corner to the little wheel, from here, you can access Setup Wizard. Our Setup Wizard is a three-step setup process. We're gonna keep it super painless for you because like I said, I know this is usually where you lose people with an online system. It can be scary or challenging when you feel like, if this is everything I have to do before I get started with the work, maybe I'm out. I promise, come along with us. This part is vital, okay? But we're gonna keep it as painless as possible. So. Step one, we are going to create an income goal, okay? In Teensy, because it is so much more than just a tracking app, 
Team Z is actually going to help you establish an income goal for yourself for the next 12 months. Now, this isn't just a number that hangs out in Team Z somewhere that looks cool. This is the number that we use to crunch for you the number of highly productive activities you need to complete every single day, every week, every month in order to stay on track with your overall goal. So we are gonna help you set your structure or your baseline, that path that you need to take in order to achieve your goal. Your first intentional step, okay, to being strategic with your business. So step one, we're gonna create an income goal. Step two, we are going to create a powerful why statement. Now, I'm gonna stop here for a second and chat a little bit about the powerful why. So some of you have heard of this concept, it's not new to you. Um, the powerful why is becoming more and more of a buzzword. Um, but honestly, this is your reminder, okay? It's, it's the, your armor when you go out into the world and you're met with objections and the challenges that are this business. This is a reminder in your own words for you to be resilient, push through this moment, and this is why, okay? So your powerful why statement is just a reminder in your own voice on a challenging day why you should persevere. So we've created a great exercise, even if you've never done it before, okay? You're gonna sort of answer a question at a time and we're gonna help you create the full why statement. And I'll show you what that means when we get to that step in the process. Okay, <clears throat> number three, we're zipping along. <laughs> okay, step three in the setup process is going to be the meat, okay? This is where we import the contacts. Deep breath. Okay, <laughs> not to worry. Team Z is going to hold your hand through this process. And even if you're thinking, no, this is not what Jay said it would look like, or I don't remember what she said, you will have my contact information at the end of this call. So I want you to pick up the phone and say, Jay, I need your help, or shoot me a text. I'm at work, I need you to import this file. I get messages like that all the time, guys. I am here to serve you. So please reach out to me if I can help, okay? So step three, we're gonna import those contacts. We're gonna go ahead and hit start here, and we're going to actually set our income goal. So this one's pretty straightforward. You're basically creating an income goal for yourself for the next 12 months, okay? So you want to consider what do I wanna grow my business by in the next 12 months? If you're already doing really, really great volume, then I want you to consider what would be great growth for me? Okay, I made $6,000 last year. Maybe I can go for 10 this year, 15, okay? This is your opportunity to take an intentional approach to your goal setting because then that's your first step toward achieving that goal. Okay, so this number does not just hang out in Teams. I'm gonna say this again. We are gonna use this number to tell you who you need to contact and when every single day. No one's ever gonna fall through the cracks, but this is where we start. So go ahead and decide what you want your growth to be for the next 12 months. We'll hit continue here. And the system's going to automatically redirect me to, to, to the first breakdown. So it lets me know, okay, you wanna make $100,000 in the next 12 months, you need to connect 2,899 times. Okay, whoa, that can sound like a lot, but honestly, I've got a pretty ambitious goal in there. So I want you to take that initial goal at face value and hit continue. Team Z is gonna break that down for you into a bite-sized chunk. Because the truth is, the only way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. I know, that phrase can kind of leave something to be desired, but it's true. Any huge feat, any large task that you want to take on, one step at a time. And we're going to help you establish those steps, okay? So, 2,899 connects. I'll hit continue. Okay, so Team Z is now going to apply the overall breakdown for me. It's going to let me know. That 2,899 connects breaks down to six connections to my prospects, four to my customers, and three to my consultants. Now that is a much more feasible day. That's something I can do. Some of you may even be thinking to yourselves, well, Jay, I do that before breakfast. You're awesome, okay, fantastic, keep up that work. This is a baseline. We've given you your structure of sorts the path that you wanna run on. If you wanna do that, if you wanna hit that path going 100 miles an hour so you can get to the destination faster, by all means, okay? Again, we've given you your structure. 
If you want to go for your stretch goal or get a little ambitious, uh, ambitious here, challenge yourself, you can do so. You can override any goal by just clicking in the field and overriding it, okay? I'm going to speak to some of our newer consultants, people that are thinking, well, I don't have customers and consultants yet. That's not to worry, okay? What you're gonna do is you're going to redistribute the goal that we put here for your customers and your consultants over to your prospects section. Because that's going, because we know that if you apply more focus to your prospects, you have a better chance of converting them into customers and ultimately into consultants, okay? So if I was brand new, I had no customers, no consultants, I would literally say, okay, zero, zero. That means I'm putting seven in this column. So it keeps me on track with my connections goal as far as my overall income goal, but I'm, I'm focusing on what's feasible for me right now. I have a list of prospects. I don't have customers and consultants yet to work with. So what am I going to do? Focus on my prospects. Okay. So this is just to let you know that you can customize that, those fields to your needs. Okay. If you decide, you know what? Six, four, and three seems good for now, but maybe I want to come back in a few months and change this. You can always revise your goals as you go along, okay? Your business is evolving right alongside you, so there's no reason that your system shouldn't do the same. So know that at any point, you can always come back to the system, you can come back into the system and override these goals. So in addition to our prospect connections, our customer connections, and our consultant connections every day, we have goals for you based on invites, and then goals based on daily additions. Now I'm going to talk to you about what I mean by these two. So invites are going to be intentional calls to action, okay? Anytime you invite a customer to join you for an event or you invite a customer to join you uh, to try a solution tool, uh, to uh, join you for an upcoming free group or something of that nature, you have the option in Teamsy to track those invites because we know that those intentional calls to action get you closer to your goals because it's just that they're calling these folks to action. Okay. So you've got your daily invite goal and you've got your daily additions goal. Daily additions are going to be additions to your database. Anytime you meet someone new, uh, face to face and belly to belly, or when you accept a new friend request through social media, you're going to want to get in the habit of adding them to Teamsy so that you can start following up appropriately and making sure that no one falls through the cracks. Okay, these goals can also be overridden. So if you want to go for five invites a day, feel free to override that. We'll hit continue once we're satisfied with those goals and we're through to the next step in the process, which is creating that powerful why statement. You can watch this video. It takes you through the whole exercise. Um, our creator and founder, Eric Johnson, does a really great job of sharing his why and his journey to that why statement. So feel free to watch that when you've got a minute. That is going to redirect me to the actual page that allows me to find my why, okay? So for me in the beginning, it was, I was new to the concept. I was thinking, so you want me to come up with some phrase, positive affirmation, right? I was, I was a little skeptical to say the least. Uh, I was born and raised in the Northeast. We're a bit pragmatic as a people, they say. So I'm kind of like, tell me what you want and I'll give it to you. Um, when my colleagues were explaining to this, they were saying it's about getting in touch with your inner voice and having a reminder. I was thinking this is all really California fruits and nuts for me. I don't know. Then I took a step back and I started to just answer the questions. Just take it for what it is. Okay. Give in to the exercise. Why did you become a consultant? Well, honestly, the products change lives. I've watched that firsthand and I could stand to make a little extra money every month. My answers were not overly transcendent in the beginning. What did I hope to accomplish? No, well, honestly, I hadn't saved a dollar since college, so that seemed like a good place to start. Um, why is that important to you? Well, then it starts to work on you. You don't realize it, but it's actually speaking to that part of you that it needs to. For me, why is that important? Well. I married a Marine straight out of college and we were looking at a military life with not a lot of disposable income. <laughs> so I thought financial freedom, room to breathe, just freedom in general. And the answer started to deepen and it started to really touch me in that place that it needed to. So even if you're thinking, I don't know about this, Jay, give in to the exercise, okay? So you're gonna answer each question. 
Once you get through to the bottom, the answers to the questions above are going to help you formulate the full why. Okay. It may sound something like to create a life where I never have to worry about money again. I enjoy quality time with my family and I'm present for my children on a daily basis. I'm healthy and I'm full of energy. Now, if I were to break that up, these, each one would be an answer to one of these questions. So when you get down to this field, you can literally copy and paste the answers if you need to. Otherwise, help use the answers to help you create that full why. Okay. We are ready to move on. We are through to the third step in the setup process, just like that, guys. <laughs> okay, importing your contacts to TeamZ. I know this can be scary because you're thinking, well, I've got li a list in LinkedIn. I've got a list in Facebook, a list in my back office. I've got an Excel spreadsheet I've been working on for 10 years. It's okay, <laughs> all right? So what we're going to do is give you the opportunity to bring in as many lists as you need to, so not to worry. We're also going to give you videos that walk you through exporting from those locations. For example, this is gonna walk you through exporting from Pulse, okay? It's gonna walk you through exporting your customers and then your consultants. And then you've got a video here that walks you through exporting from Facebook, okay? And then ultimately how to import those files into TeamZ. Now I know there are way more areas than just those two, but we give you the majors here to start. If you're thinking to yourself, Jay, I want my LinkedIn contacts, I want my Gmail, I want my Outlook, I want my cell phone, go ahead and ping me directly after this call and I'll get you all of those instructions or we can even schedule a one-on-one -on -one and I'll help you through it, okay? So, a few quick tips here. If you've got a pen and paper, jot this down, okay? When you're exporting from Pulse specifically, I recommend that you start with your preferred customers, okay? When you're pulling your preferred customers list, you have a few options. Your list is going to pull your personally sponsored and your downline. So if you're thinking, well, I don't really need my downline folks, those, those customers are gonna be followed up with by their consultant and so on, then what I recommend you do is sort that file by the sponsored by column. I'm gonna say that again. Okay, so if you want to include only your personally sponsored, I want you to open up the file, Look for the column that's titled sponsored by. That column will list more than likely a majority of your name. Go ahead and sort that column and remove anybody that's not you. Then you can import the people that are left. That way you're getting only your personally sponsored customers. The exact same thing goes for your consultants. Once you pull that downline report, you may realize that it includes some of your upline and then some of your downline. So go through, decide, do I wanna bring these folks into the system or do I wanna bring in only my personally sponsored? Okay, that's my recommendation with Pulse. Next up, my tip for Facebook, okay? Facebook is currently, like right now, in the process of changing their, um, their process for exporting your contacts or well, exporting your archive from Facebook. The problem with this is that they have not notified their users, okay? I'm aware of this because I've constantly got, we have constantly got our ears to the ground for processes that are changing so that we can update you guys and keep you um, sort of up to date with everything that's going on. So with that in mind, this is not affecting everyone, okay? If you're thinking to yourself, Jay, I requested my Facebook archive three days ago and it never came in, okay? So then you are included, okay? What's going on is Facebook has adjusted their process. I want you to go back to Facebook. I'm actually gonna show this to you on the screen. You're gonna open up your Facebook. Sorry guys, I thought I had that open. If you open Facebook in the upper right-hand corner, if you go to your settings, again, this process is going to look familiar to you because you've already done this, okay? If you've done it and you've been waiting for your file, go back to, to Facebook, go to your settings, come down to download a copy, this time, instead of it saying start my archive, you're gonna notice it says download my archive. That means that that file is ready and waiting for you. Facebook didn't tell you it was waiting there. I know, it's frustrating. But this is a little heads up for you. If you're waiting even more than a few hours, go back into Facebook and you'll notice the file is waiting. If you have any challenges beyond that, reach out to me directly. Okay, so that's my tip for Facebook. My last tip before I actually import a file and show you how simple that is, is that you actually start with Pulse, okay? Bring in your customers and your consultants first, and then go over to your social media or your Gmail or your Outlook, okay? 
The reason we say this is because Teamsy has a duplicate filter, okay? So you're bringing in lots of lists. You might have some customers that are also your Facebook friends. Teamsy is going to search for a unique email address and it will remove the duplicate so you only end up with one record. Some people use different email addresses all over the place. Some women like me use their nickname, Jay, and then their full first name, and then their married name, and then their maiden name, all interchangeably. Like I've got aliases all over the place, right? <laughs> but that happens. So consider that when you bring in your list, you may have to do some manual cleanup, but in a couple minutes, I'll show you how to really limit that so that you can sort of um, get through it really quickly. Okay, doke. So those are my tips for importing into Teamsy. When we are ready to actually bring in the files, we'll hit continue. These are the listed files, okay? These are the accepted files that Teamsy will take. So if you're thinking, I don't remember what she said, I don't remember where to look to find the appropriate format, it's okay. Teamsy will actually tell you yes or no, okay? You can select your file and Teamsy will say, yay, you can move forward, nay, this format's not appropriate, okay? So we'll choose a file. The system is, done, is doing that initial screen that I mentioned and it's letting me know, okay, this file is appropriate for upload. So that means the format has been accepted. Now I have a couple of things that I can do here before I hit continue. I want you to click on advanced import options here. This is going to give you the option to actually tag every single person on this file. So this is gonna be really, really helpful when you're bringing in a list from Facebook to say, these are my Facebook friends. Uh, this, this is my LinkedIn connections. Um, these are my, uh, you know, these are individuals who joined me for a recent event. You can tag it by event location, by event date. I've got consultants that are doing all different types of things. Tags are basically going to be identifiers that you'll be able to look over and say, oh, that's the origin of that relationship, or, oh, that's how I connect with that person. It's just gonna stack the odds in your favor when you're getting started, okay? So let's say this is a list of my Facebook friends. I will literally create the tag Facebook. You can create as many or as few as you feel like you need. From there, I also have the option to establish member types. Now, the list that's coming from Pulse that's got your customers on it will automatically be tagged as a customer list. The list of consultants will automatically, tag, automatically be tagged as consultants, okay? Other than that, if you're thinking, oh, I've got my own Excel spreadsheet that I've created that has my customers on it, know that you can come in and say, that's a full list of my customers, or that's a full list of my consultants. Okay, so we'll leave those as prospects and we'll hit continue. The system lets me know that the file is ready to be uploaded. It's going to automatically map my columns. It's gonna put first name with first names, last names with last names, email addresses with email addresses, and so on. If you're unsure, for those of you who have just been rocking these incredibly robust Excel spreadsheets, okay, if you've got a column for every which thing, I want you to feel confident that you're gonna be able to capture as much of that data as possible. So when you come to this stage, I want you to click Show Mapping. This will literally display for you every single column that you have and then what Teamsy is going to try and do with it. And then you can say, <clears throat> excuse me, you can say, you know what, actually I'd rather this be put in the notes section or in the LinkedIn section, okay? So you have that option if you need to, but Teamsy is gonna automatically do this. So we will hit continue when we're ready and the system is gonna go ahead and bring in those files. And it's going to redirect me to the next step in the process. I'm not getting lost along the way. I don't necessarily feel overwhelmed because I know where I need to put my foot next, okay? Next step is to prioritize your database. This has to be the game changer for Teamsy. This has to be what sets us apart from so many others, okay? Is that you have the opportunity here to look at every single person that you work with. Prospect, customer, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. <coughs> Sorry guys. Okay. <clears throat> you can prioritize your customers, your consultants, and your prospects. We're going to ask you to do that on a five-star scale. <clears throat> Sorry guys, of course I'm going to fall apart live, right? Okay. <clears throat> so you're going to go through. Your five stars are going to be the rock stars for that group, right? My five-star prospects. These are the individuals I want Teensy 
to prompt me to connect with every 30 days like clockwork. These are my four stars. You know, these are the individuals that, you know, these are great customers, great consultants, but I could probably use with connecting with them every 60 days. My three stars every 90 days, my two stars every 120 days, and my one stars will never come up. Now it looks like I'm getting um, an unstable internet connection, so I'm gonna slow down for a second, give it a minute to catch up with me. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. And I, I do see the questions coming in, guys. I am going to jump into those after the presentation, okay? All right, so once you've gone through and you're ready to do your ranking, you can always come down this page and watch this video. It's gonna walk you through why you're ranking, who you're ranking, okay? We'll hit rank. This is going to redirect us to rank mode, okay? This makes it as simple as it can be to get through your entire list and establish who your five stars are, who your four stars are. So. You'll notice the system gives us a list of our all. So this is every single person that you have in TeamZ. If you follow this to the right, you have a total number of contacts. This list of names can be edited in real time. So I'm, here's Marlo. I can say, you know what, he's a four star, Rachel's a two. Or if you're, as you're going along, if you need a reminder of, you know what, how often do four stars come up again? At the top of the list, you have this little question mark that displays for you that little breakdown. So that's always in there for you to display. Now, like I said, some are gonna be easier than others, okay? You would go through and literally establish, oh, actually, Christy, is, I don't need her in my database. Uh, she and I no longer connect, whatever the case may be. You can always click the little trash can and that will give you your delete option for that person. You'll notice it removes the person and just moves them up the list. Now, as you're going through, some people are gonna be easier than others, okay guys? This is something that I don't want you to get lost in or agonize over, because we do want you to hit the ground running and utilize Teamsy. So when you're bringing in a list of 1,000 names, sometimes 2,000 for some of you, okay? Don't get overwhelmed. Do it in passes, okay? What you noticed when I first imported everyone is that each person gets a three-star ranking to start. This is almost a safety net, okay? This puts everyone in a position where, okay, even if I don't have time to go through and rank each person, Teamsy is going to make sure they don't fall through the cracks and that they automatically come up for follow-up in 90 days. So with that in mind, go through and cherry pick your four and your five stars because everyone else is pretty much in that safe zone, okay? So like I said, you're going to go through and quickly re-rank folks, delete them in real time. You may come to someone that, oh, you know what, Marlo? Marlo and I connected today, he sent me an email, I now have his email address. If you click on a name, this becomes their profile to the right. You can scroll down to the email field and add the information. You'll notice if you click anywhere on the screen, the system gives you a success message, letting you know that it automatically saved that detail and you can move forward. This is what's gonna help you really get through that setup quickly, okay? Add the information you have. You can always come back and sort of add information as you go along. Okay, um, if I wanted to add more contact-based information, I could. In the profiles, you also have a way to track their social media links. I get a lot of questions as to why is that useful. Um, for me, when I'm looking to connect with 20 people, you know, in an hour, it's nice to be able to click on their Facebook link, it brings up their page, I drop them a message, and I move on to the next person. Okay, so that's really the beauty of adding your social media link. Your personal, uh, the personal details here. You can collect their birthday, spouse's details, children, pets, company. Anything that falls outside of these fields, you have a really great notes area. So you can come in here and say, uh, anything that you're learning about people, they getting ready to have a baby, uh, found out that she has a, an allergy, whatever the case may be. These are, these are notes to you from you that help you serve people better, okay? And something like this is gonna be really, really beneficial, guys. I know you're all with me in understanding the challenges that tech can come with, right? I know that Pulse just recently went through some updates and some changes that were a little painful, okay? You, it's really, really nice to have a third-party system that you can lean into and rely on to have all of those details readily available at your fingertips as sort of a fail safe when the truth is sometimes things go sideways. Okay, so you can track notes, uh, you can track their uh, contact information, all of their details, things like that that help you serve them better. 
Now, as you're connecting with them, as you log that you're connecting with people, you're gonna create an archive in their activity feed. So those are basically all of the major sections of the profile. So that's what you need to know there, okay? As you're going through and you're updating information, you may realize, oh, you know what? I wanna just make sure everyone is typed correctly. You can always click on type mode and that displays everyone's current type. I can say, you know what, these people are customers, this person's a consultant. And of course, these are coming in pre-tagged from your pulse, so you may not have to worry about it, but know that you have the option if you need to. Okay, so that's gonna be how you do your typing. Now beyond that, you're gonna add information, you're gonna add people as you go along, uh, as you meet people, because Team Z is a lead generation system. It's always tracking that goal. Have you added some folks today? Have you introduced new people to the products and services that you offer, okay? So let's talk about your dashboard. So what I wanna get into next is how to become a hashtag power hour boss with Teensy, okay? Because that's gonna be the best feeling in the world is knowing I time blocked an hour, I sat down and I allocated as much of my energy and resources as I needed to for that hour. And that's what Teensy is gonna help you do so that you know at one glance what you need to do, who you need to do it with so you can get back to the, the other elements of life, okay? All right, so let's talk about that dashboard. When you log into your Team Z dashboard, I want you to think of this as your virtual accountability partner, okay? If you don't have a success partner, a success sister, whatever the case may be, we've built one in for you. At one glance, every day, you will be able to see, okay, how many prospects do I need to connect with? How many customers versus how many consultants? So I've got six prospects left, four customers and three consultants. As I actually complete connections, it's gonna send a message to my dashboard. So I will know at one glance how close or how far I am to meeting my goals every day, which means I know, okay, I need 30 more minutes to get through my connections or I need 10 more minutes. It will be really, really nice for you to take back control of your time. Okay, so that's how you're gonna read your daily activities. Basically what you would do to connect is you would say, I've got six prospects, and then you're gonna scroll down to what's known as your who's up next section okay who's up next this is your power hour hub okay this is so that this is why you don't have to scrub lists anymore this is why we just went through the process of prioritizing each and every person because teensy is now monitoring for you the last time that you connected with every single person in the database and it's cross-referencing that to their ranking so eric johnson is on this list because he's a five star and I have not logged a connection for him in 30 days. So Teamsy is saying, F, 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 this is what's important versus what's urgent, okay? So Eric Johnson needs a connection. I would basically come over to this area and it gives me a little area where I can jot down the nature of that connection. You can literally copy and paste your message if you'd like to, it's your preference. But this is a note to you from you. It ends up being the history record for this person. So the more details you put there, the easier it is for you to serve them. Okay, so with this, when I'm ready to connect with Eric, I can do a couple of things right from the dashboard. I can quickly check his activity to see how I, what was the last connection I made with Eric, okay? Does it look like we connected ever? What details do I have for him? Okay, I've got an email address, I've got his social media links, I have his phone number, and that's right, we're great, we're Facebook friends. I send a ton of Facebook messages, that's what I'll do. I'll check in with Eric on Facebook. So I can now sit here and decide what I want to say. I've got a couple options. I can agonize over every word. I can sit here and really, you know, personalize each and every message to each person, which a lot of times when you're just trying to start a conversation is futile, okay? Short but sweet is what people want. You don't want to feel like you're imposing on them, just that you're a support. I'm here, I'm showing up when I said I would. Okay, so let's say I wanna connect with Eric, but honestly, I don't even know what I wanna to say to him. I'm gonna lean into my system because my system, Teensy, has scripts and dialogues built right in, okay? So you have a starting point, uh, really quick one-liners that help you just plant that seed, get the conversation started with people. So if I wanna send Eric, um, a, if I wanna check out the scripts, I will click the script option here. And it's gonna let me choose how I wanna connect with Eric. 
okay? Whether it be through Facebook, email, text, so on. So I wanna send him a Facebook message, so I'll click Facebook. This is going to display for me different connect types, different follow-up types. So no matter where you are with this person, if this happens to be the third time that you're connecting with them, you would do follow-up number one and then follow-up number two, okay? For some people where it's just sort of moving along at the uh, natural pace, okay? They're feeling you out, you're learning more about them, they're deciding on whether they want the right, these products or if this is something that's right for them. You're just looking for the opportunity to stop by, let them know that you're still there, demonstrating, them, demonstrating to them that you're consistent, that you're a good leader, you're somebody that can guide them through this journey, okay? Scripts are gonna be a great way to start tons of conversations without you having to think about it. Okay, so let's say I wanna use connect number one. I will copy script. Come back over to Eric's conversation area. I paste it in here just because I'm a little blind. So when I paste into my Facebook Messenger, it ends up being teeny tiny and I can't see the names. So I do this just to keep everything um, copacetic. Okay, so I will update the name here. Add, you know, my little hey girl or, you know, how's it going? Personalize the message if you need to. Otherwise, you just do another copy. I always have my Facebook side by side so that I can quickly jump over and send a message. I find Eric. Drop the message, come back over to Teamsy. I now tell Teamsy how I sent that message. So no matter what, if it's a couple months from now and I need to know, oh, what else, how did I talk to him? Or what was the best way to reach out to that person? I can always look in their history and it'll let me know, well, I sent Facebook messages in the past or I sent texts, that kind of thing. Okay, so I can say that it was a Facebook message. This is not an invite. I'm not calling him to action of any kind. I'm just basically checking in. So I can log that connect. The system will let me know the connect was successfully logged. You'll notice it has removed Eric from my list of prospects. So I am only focused on the people that I need to be focused on right now. I'm not worried about the, the overall list of 1,500. I'm worried about the five that I need to connect with right now because they are a priority to me. And Teamsy is gonna help you do that. So you just keep going through the list, okay? Next person up is Carmen. Looks like Carmen's a four star, so that means I have not connected with her in 60 days. I have the same choices here. I can check her activity, her details. I can see, okay, she's a Facebook friend, so I'll send her a Facebook message. Guys, honestly, I'll be honest with you, I use Team Z every day, all day for my business, okay? That's not, that's not biased in any way, <laughs> but it's just the tool that I choose to use. So with that in mind, I might send 10 of the same script to 10 different people. They don't know that. These are simply messages that let them know, hey, how are you? Just stopping by to say hello. This is something that opens the door, okay, plants the seed. That conversation will start to snowball. So you just need to be aware that if you start 20 conversations, you need to back them up. You need to be available, engaged, and present at all times, okay? So those scripts are great. They're gonna start lots of conversations, but remember you wanna keep them up, okay? Always follow up because the fortune is in the follow-up. So that takes me to my next point. As you're connecting with people, for example, let's say that Carmen and I chat about, my up, about an upcoming event. This is actually an invite. I am inviting Carmen to my upcoming event. So what I would say is stipulate here that we spoke by phone. I'll tag that it's an invite. I'm gonna select exactly what I'm inviting her to because Team Z is gonna let me pull reports and things like that so I can see how many invites I'm sending. These are great coaching tools, uh, great accountability tools as you're working as a team, okay? So I can stipulate I'm inviting her to an event. I'd go ahead and log that connect, but you know what, Carmen's a four star. So if I hit log connect right now, she's not coming up for 60 days but I wanna follow up tomorrow with all of the details and let her know how excited I am and I can't wait to see her. So do not grab your calendar app. <laughs> Don't reach for a post-it note. You can set your own manual follow-ups right in Teamsy, okay? So in addition to that safety net or the default follow-ups that Teamsy is monitoring, you have the choice to tell Teamsy, no, 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 I need to follow up with Carmen tomorrow because I have an important follow-up. So to do that, right from the dashboard in one fail swoop, I can say, you know what? No, I don't wanna follow up for the default. I wanna go down and follow up tomorrow or in two days, in four days. You can choose from any of the presets. 
or you can go down and select a custom date. So I want to follow up tomorrow. I will log that connect. Sends another message to my dashboard. I've completed yet another prospect connection and I've logged one of my invites. So it's all working with you so that at any given moment, okay, when you finish with a person, you've logged a connect, I can head over to my dashboard and find out what else I need to do for the day. What's left for me, okay? So once you're going through and you might be setting follow-ups for yourself manually left and right, <clears throat> Teamsy is creating for you, in addition to your prospects, customers, and consultants list, you have a follow-ups list. So this list is going to arrange for me the upcoming follow-ups that I have beginning today. So if I had any follow-ups that were due today or past due even, the system will give me a little notification here. So it's going to have a little one or a two or something like that, depending on how many pending follow-ups you have. Okay. So you didn't have to go and check an external app. You don't have to make sure this is synchronizing with that. All of it lives in one place. Okay. So, this is how you're gonna follow up like a pro. You can create follow-ups in real time, outside of the default follow-ups. Now, you guys saw me connect with Eric a few moments ago, but you know what, I wanna invite Eric to that event. So what I can do is scroll to the top of my Teamsy screen, and I have a search contact. I can search by first or last name. So I will search Eric's first name. The system is going to auto-populate for me and bring up, whoops, Come on, internet connection. You know you want to. Sorry guys, looks like my internet connection is lagging here, so I'm gonna give it a second to catch up. Sorry guys, so sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. So let me share my screen again and we can get right back to it. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, so if I come back into Teamsy here, I can go ahead and search for my contact by first or last name. When I click on his name, it's gonna bring me to his overall profile. I can do a few different things from here, okay? Now we were talking about setting follow-ups. So let's say I want to invite Eric to my event tomorrow, but Eric's a five-star. If I look at his follow-up line here, it tells me that he's set to default. So he's coming up 30 days from the last time I connected with him. So what I want to tell Teamsy is, you know what? Just bring him up tomorrow so that I can follow up. I will click this drop-down, indicate tomorrow, and the system is going to pop the name, the address, excuse me, it's going to pop the date in there. And from there, now when I click my dashboard and go over to my follow-ups list, I will be able to see that Eric's been added to my follow-ups list. Automatic save. I didn't have to search around on the screen for anything. It updated his, his, um, his follow-up date and I'm able to move on to the next person. So you can, you can reset your follow-ups from the dashboard or you can always pull up a name by searching them at the top of the page. Okay, so we're gonna head over to the team page on the left-hand side. From here, I had talked to you originally about creating tags upon import, but you may wanna create tags as you go along. For example, if I'm working with Marlo and um, he's attending my event in Los Angeles, I can literally create event LA. This is creating a tag or a, an, a list of anybody that I am adding to that tag. So if I go down and say, you know what, Claudia is also going to event LA. Now when I go over to event LA, it's arranging for me the individuals that I put in that list, okay? So this is allowing you to create uh, different campaign lists, call lists if you need to. Just another tool that helps you serve everyone on your list better with making, without losing sight of anyone in particular. Okay, so we talked about setup, we talked about following up, and we talked about the different features that are gonna help you really maximize on your power hours. Now this is probably a perfect time to take a look at your questions, jump into some of the specifics, and then we'll get back into Teamsy and I'll show you a few more features, so stick with me, okay? All right, I'm gonna pull up the Q&A here. Okay guys, it looks like it reset my question and answer. I'm so sorry. If you had a question earlier, please jump into the question and answer section. 
should be right or left of your screen, depending on wh what browser you're using. Drop your question in there, and I will answer in real time. As you guys are working on that, I'm going to share my contact information, and then I'll jump into a few more features. Okay, so you've now got my contact information up on, yes, so Michelle, that's exactly how you ask a question, so feel free to follow that up. You are indeed. Okay, so that's my contact information up on the screen. You can, in fact, call me or text me or email me, your preference. I will put that up again toward the end of the call, but like I said, jump in and ask your questions. Uh, the Q&A is right or left of your screen. Alrighty, let's share my Teamsy screen and take a look at the questions. Okay, so what happens, so Michelle wants to know what happens if I entered contacts already and I didn't do it correctly? Can I erase and start over? Absolutely. So Michelle, if you have imported the contacts, you can wipe them all out by import. To do that, you're gonna go to your team page on the left. And then in the upper left-hand corner, you've got import, and then you're gonna go down to import history. This is gonna give you an itemized list. If you brought in six different lists, you'll see them listed there. You can always click delete this import. It wipes every single person that came in on that import, okay? Beyond that, anybody that's manually been added, you'll need to go over to the team page or you can search their name and just click the little mini trash can. That'll give you their delete option. Alrighty, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna answer some of these live. Okay, so Christina wants to know, I already added my Facebook contacts before my Pulse contacts. Should I and how do I delete and start over? Okay, so the one thing with this, Krista, is if you have already started tracking some of your connections, uh, adding your income, things like that, that's gonna be wiped out, okay? So if, we, if you go in, like I just showed you, to your import area, go over to your import history, and wipe the import that way, it's gonna remove any connections that you may have tracked for those folks until now. If you haven't done any of that, then feel free to go through the process the way I just showed you. Okie doke. Let's see here. Um, so Kim wants to know, are there any printing capabilities? So you've got a few different options, okay? Any contact that you bring into Teamsy -E belongs to you 100%. No one else has access to it. So that also means that you have access to export your data at any given time. If you want a list of all of your contacts, you'll go over to your team page. I will do an export contacts here. And then when I hit export, it's gonna give me an Excel spreadsheet. You can choose to print from there, okay? Now let's say I wanna print my activities, what I've been working on with people, who I've been connecting with. You can head over to your business tab on the left-hand side. This is gonna give you all of your business statistics and we'll talk a little bit more about this in a couple minutes. But if we scroll down this page, you're gonna to come to activity history. This is an itemized list of every single activity you have, you've logged in the system. You can always filter this, so include just my invites or just my sales. And then what's really cool is you can go ahead and export that as well. It'll give you an Excel spreadsheet that you can print to your preference. Okay, let's see here. Um, so Jay, hi Jay, I'm Jay. <laughs> I just signed up for a free 30 day trial, um, but doesn't, uh, but don't feel comfortable importing from Pulse because of my current issues with the system. Should we wait? Okay, so any particular issues that you may be having with the system, any reservations, I recommend that we schedule a one-on-one. -on -one. I can walk you through it, kind of make you feel confident so that you know where to find everything. My contacts have been uploaded appropriately. I'm ready to move forward. Okay, so JJ, feel free to reach out to me directly. We can schedule that one-on-one, -on -one, or we can just talk more about your specific situation. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so Amy wants to know, I started inputting, t um, inputting into Teensy and started with Pulse. Couldn't do it and gave up. I'm willing to try it again. How should I proceed? Okay, so Amy, with, that, with any challenges that you're having with import, like I just said, feel free to reach out to me directly, okay? What we can do is I can literally schedule a Zoom call like this, I'll have you log into your Pulse and I will walk you through it. Or you can reach out to me by email and I'll send you those instructions. 
Whatever your preference is, we will definitely help you get those pulse contacts imported. And don't worry, even if your trial's getting ready to expire or anything like that, I have the magic key, okay? <laughs> so I can go ahead and extend that for you so that you get the full use of the system. All righty then, let's see here. So Michelle wants to know, is it possible to backdate activities? Yes. So this is, this is a request that has come in um, pretty frequently since we released the Rodan and Fields version. And this week, actually yesterday or the day before, you guys received that, that option. So in Team Z, you now have the choice to backdate your activities as you're bringing in um, or transitioning your lists from your Excel spreadsheets. If you're working on your team page and you're going through your setup, you know, you're ranking people, you may realize, oh, you know what? I have a pending follow-up set for Rachel on my spreadsheet. So I can come over here, click on Rachel. I can always update the, oops, sorry about that. I can always update her follow-ups and I can also click connect right from this screen. It doesn't have to be for my dashboard. So I'll click connect. And then here I have an option to select today's date or I can go back and backdate. And that's gonna give you your option for login connects um, backdated. Alrighty then, let's see here. Christy, okay. Uh, will this be available for us to go back and watch again? Um, <laughs> that's okay, your little ones are distracting. It's sort of what they do by nature, right? <laughs> Absolutely, I will have a recorded version available for you. And like I said, if you wanna connect one-on-one, -on -one, we can always go through, uh, kind of cover any questions you might have. Thanks for being here. Okie doke. Uh, let's see here. Um, so Angela, you wanted to know if you'll have the option to watch this again, start and go back, kind of, you know, fast forward through some of my mumbo jumbo, whatever the case may be. Yes, you will absolutely have the option. Um, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the replay link tonight. You will get an email tomorrow that gives you that replay link so that you can access it at your own um, pace. Okie doke. Thank you so much, Angela. I appreciate you being here. Okay, so Krista wants to know where you have uh, contact social media links on their profile. Can you just click on the link and see them on that? So Krista, right now, your hyperlinks are available. Let's, oops, come on, yep, there we go. All right, so if I pulled up, let's use Eric as an example again. Okay, so if I pull up Eric here, Sorry about that. From his profile overall, I can't click on this hyperlink and have it redirect me. I have to do a copy and paste from here. But when I'm on my dashboard, for example, if I go over to Carrie's details, if I click on Facebook, if her Facebook link is in there, it's gonna automatically redirect me to her Facebook profile. But right now it's not in there for Carrie, so it didn't redirect me. So from the dashboard, it is automatically a hyperlink. It'll redirect you. From the profile, it'll have to be a copy and paste. We're working on it, okay? The guys are hot on the trail. They should have that solution soon. Okie doke. Let's see here. Uh, Candace wants to know what happens with duplicates, say Facebook and phone contact imported with the same person. Great question, okay? Team Z has a duplicate filter. So what that means is that when you bring in your Facebook contacts and then your phone contacts, it's going to search those people for their first name, last name, and unique email address. So if they use the same email address, it's going to merge that up, and you're going to end up with one record. If they had a different email address, they spelled the name wrong, if they used their maiden name or something like that, you may have to manually clean that up, okay? My suggestion with cleaning up duplicates, I'm going to add... And that's just basically how you add a new contact, guys. What you just saw me do there really quickly, upper right-hand corner, add contact, and you can add the details you have at that time. Now, what I just did was added a duplicate, okay? I'm going to go back to my all page. This is every single person in my database. And from here, I can, I can sort by first name, by last name. This is usually going to bring duplicates really close together because the names are spelled the same, if not exactly the same, um, things like that. So what I can do is enable rank mode, scroll down, and I see I've got a duplicate here. You'll notice the system has brought them together. I can always click on this one and see I've got an email address. This profile doesn't seem to have anything in it, so I could quickly go through and say, you know what, I want to delete this one. 
And that's going to be the easiest way to merge up your duplicates right now. Some may have, you may, you may have to grab an email address and add it, some, add it to the other profile. That's going to be pretty painless, okay? But Team Z, like I said, is going to have that duplicate filter that kind of screens for most of the duplicates for you. Okay. Let's see here. Do, do, do. Um, Melissa wants to know, can we add other dailies? You have already, you already have wash face. Um, okay, so professional development. So Melissa is referring to your daily section on the dashboard. I talked to you about the daily activities for your business, but then you've got some items for you, okay? Have you posted to social media? Have you um, spent some time on your personal development? Done my AM skincare, my PM skincare. We are working on making this customizable or giving you an option to add additional. The team is, on, is working on that, okay? For now, this is gonna be static. You have the option between those five. These would basically, you would check them off as you do them. Oh, yep, listen to a podcast this morning. And then once I do my, my PM skincare, I'll come in here, check that off, and the system just basically keeps track of my progress, okay? So keep an eye out for that, Melissa. You will see that coming down the pipeline relatively soon. Okay, Michelle wants to know, is it possible to backdate your activities? Yes, um, so we went over that a second ago. Backdating, you would search for the person's name, or you can always, if you're looking at the full list of names, click connect, connect, and you will simply select the date that you actually connected on. All righty, let's see here. Christine, uh, do we also log how much we've made from each per, uh, preferred customer? Yes. So that's a really, really great, great question. Teamsy is helping you, okay, to track who you're connecting with, when you're connecting with them. But ultimately, you're gonna be selling them some products. You're going to be converting them into consultant status. As you do that, you'll also be earning income. So for that, what we recommend that you do, let's say you're working with Marlowe and you've sold Marlowe a regimen. You can search for his name or you can always find the person's name on the list. You'd come in here and I would click on sale this time. This is going to, you know, let me fold up connect. This gives me my sale type. This area is very, very um, basic right now. We're working on adding additional types to this dropdown. Right now you've got three choices. Is it an enrollment kit? Did you sell them a regimen or was it something else? So I would choose that it's a regimen and I can hit save here. If I wanted to get specific about what regimen, okay, if I wanted to say he bought revise or whatever the case may be, I would literally, in tags, I would create a tag for that product line. Or in the notes section, I would quickly pop what the name of the product is that they bought. We are working on customizing that for you. Please do me a favor, send me an email anytime you're thinking, I really wish we had this type, or I really wish we had that invite option. That is how we make changes to Team Z, guys, based on our users' feedback, okay? So that's gonna be sort of how you can track your sales. Now, as you're tracking the sales, you're gonna be earning income. So this is done separately. We're gonna head back over to your business section for that. On the left-hand side, you're gonna click on your business tab. This is going to give you access to your business statistics like we talked about earlier. You've got total income earned so far. So this is tracking your goal. I have that goal of $100,000, and it looks like I have tracked $9,100 so far. I've got three total customers and zero personally sponsored consultants. So this is tracking as you're adding these people to the system, as you're converting them from customers to consultants and so on. So if you're thinking I need to track some income, you come over to business, you can hit the little plus symbol here, or you can hit add income in the upper right hand corner. Either of which is gonna give you access to an itemized um, income report. You can come in here and enter income by earning statement, date range, whatever your preference, okay? I can say I made $250 between, I don't know, the 24th and the 25th. I add that income, it adds another uh, line item to my income report. This income report can be pulled so that you can use this as an accountability tool, keep yourself on track when it's, you know, six months into the year, seven months into the year, sometimes it's like I got a course correct, it's time to kind of light that fire. These are tools that will help with that. Okay, so that's how you're gonna track your income in Team Z. Let's see here. Um, absolutely, Amy, hang tight just a couple more minutes and I will um, post my contact information again, okay? Let's see here. Um, so Debbie, I got my Facebook contacts, but I did it on my iPad and cannot save it to my desktop. Where do I save the contacts so I can import them? 
So, uh, so the way that's going to work, Debbie, is unfortunately you can't do that process on a mobile device like an iPad. If you'd like, reach out to me directly. I do not mind taking care of that for you. I know some of us just sort of do everything on our mobile devices now, so it's like I don't even have a desktop. Um, that's not a problem. You won't have an issue using Teamsy moving forward, but for setup, I'll kind of help you through that threshold. Okay, so reach out to me directly. Let's see here. So Claire, um, let's see here. It looks like you, she just started using this a week ago, but I'm already loving it. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, so she's excited to share this with her team. Um, so I do these webinars twice a month, okay? So you can always uh, stay tuned to our YouTube channel, to our Facebook channel. We'll post advertisements for upcoming webinars that way. And we will also always send it out to you as an active user as an email invite. So please feel free to have them uh, join me for the next one live, or you can always uh, reach out to me directly and maybe we can schedule a one-on-one -on -one for your team, okay? We do offer team calls for anyone who thinks that they can arrange 25 consultants or so on a call. We do a one-on-one -on -one like this so we can kind of dive into what each consultant needs. Feel free to reach out. Okay, guys, let's see here. Uh, so Christine, you wanted to know how, how does Teamsy know how much money I'm making? You know, if I'm working toward a goal, that's going to be how you're tracking it in that business section. All righty, let's see here. Um, so Teresa wants to know what kind of subscription plans do we have? So at the end of your free 30 day trial, you have access to your subscription plans when you're ready. Okay. At your own rate. So excuse me, at your own pace, whenever you're ready to select your subscription in the upper right hand corner, you're going to click that little wheel. From here, you're gonna go down to settings and then billing along the middle left. This is gonna let you know exactly when your trial is set to expire and your monthly subscription and your yearly subscription options. You get to choose your <laughs> You get to choose your subscription right there and then, and then you would enter your payment information in our secure site and you'd be able to move from there. Feel free to reach out if you need help. Uh, so JJ wants to know what the best browser is to use with Teamsy. So the way that, um, so browser efficiencies speak more to your computer um, than it will to my website. So Teamsy is going to be completely cloud-based. It works really, really tremendously with Internet Explorer, with, um, with Chrome, with Safari. Now, uh, browsers like Firefox um, go through tons and tons of updates and changes because they're looking to service a much larger range or audience. So in that, it's just, it usually causes problems for lots of different websites. That's not because you're using Teensy. If you're using Safari, Chrome, or Internet Explorer, you're golden. There won't be a problem there. You'll be able to kind of just use the system with no challenge. Firefox is the only, the only browser that honestly, it presents issues no matter what site you're on. Okay, so that's the one thing that I'm going to say there. Um, Christy, uh, let's see here. So you had questions about the fees for Teamsy. They're up on your screen now, but like I said, those are available for you in your own settings section so that you can choose when you're ready. Okay, and there's the question. I've been waiting for it, guys. <laughs> so Kathleen has the question of the night. Is there an app for this, <laughs> right? Because you're living crazy busy lives. You're thinking, I need to be able to do this on the go. So we do not currently have an app, so you don't need to go to the app store, but we do have a mobile site so that you can access Teamsy on the go. What you're going to do, I recommend that you open up Safari, okay, or Chrome if you're an Android user or whatever the case may be. You're going to open up your browser, go to type in what you see on my screen now, app.teamsy.com. Again, app, so the word app, dot teamsy.com. Now, once you're there, go ahead and log in and then save your login credentials so that you don't have to do it every time. And then what I did, this is a personal preference, you don't have to. I'm not sure if the glare is gonna work with me just yet, but this is actually my Teamsy. So what I did is I saved that to my home screen as a little icon. So I can tap on that and just like an app, it's going to literally bring up my dashboard so that I can in real time go through and connect with a few people, send a few emails, find out where I am in my progress, okay? So that's, I'm not sure if the glare is gonna let us just then. But yeah, so that's basically what you guys have been looking at on my dashboard. It's just now on my mobile device. 
I can literally send emails. I can send a couple connects, go over and access my scripts and my dialogues, everything on the go. I don't know about you guys, but for me, when I got started, my power hours didn't really manifest themselves in a solid hour. It was like 15 minutes in the drop-off line in the morning. It was like 20 minutes as I was running from class to my next job. So in that, lean into your system, okay? Go ahead and get the mobile site, save it to your home screen. If you don't know how to save to your home screen, if you're thinking that's a foreign language, Jay, reach out to me directly. I will help. Okay. Let's see here. So we have, okay, so Candace had the same awesome question. Is there a compatible app? That's gonna be your answer, okay? app.teamz.com will get you your mobile site. Awesome, so JJ has a really cool suggestion. So I'm gonna, I wanna just clarify, you feel free to jump in there and let me know if I'm just completely off the mark here. <laughs> You're looking for in profiles, the opportunity to be able to stipulate whether it's a group, um, an age group, whether they're in their 20s to 30s, 40s, that kind of thing. Just do me a favor, pop in there, JJ, and let me know, yay or nay, I'm on the right track. So guys, feedback like this, suggestions in real time, this is stuff that we really, really love, okay? It helps us, this is something that I'm gonna turn around and sit down with my development team, and I get to be your champion of sorts, okay? I get in there and I give them perspective. I explain why this is useful why our user needs this specific feature. So if you're ever thinking, Jay needs to know about this, she needs to add this. <laughs> Feel free, right in your Team Z, to click on your feedback option. I'm monitoring it on the other end, okay? So feel free to send me any of your feedback that way. We love to hear about it. Even if it's the over the moon, I want it to be able to fold laundry and walk the dog. Whatever, right? We will find a place for it on the list. <laughs> okay. So thank you very much for confirming, JJ. I would love to pass that suggestion along to our development team. Okay, so that's all the questions that I have got for now, guys. In the question and answer, feel free to jump in there and ask any additional. I'm gonna share my contact information one more time since you guys were so awesome and you stuck with me through my temporary technical glitches. There we go. Okay, so you've got my contact information up on the screen now. Feel free to reach out to me if you need help along the way. I'm trying to think if there are any, um, yep, I'm gonna show you a couple more features when I bring that down, but otherwise, that's it for the evening, guys. <laughs> okay, so anonymous viewer wants to know, um, so I'm on the phone app, how do I delete a contact or rate a contact? Okay, so from the phone app, if you are looking at, so more than likely you're on there, you're on the dashboard, right? You see your list of names here. If I tap on a name, if I scroll down, you're going to see contact info. You want, so you want to scroll down that page below where you see the actual ability to connect. And that's going to give you the choice to either go to the person's contact information so that you can re-rank them or delete them. Awesome. Okay, so if you need any additional help with the mobile app, if you need more help with any of the other features in the system, like I said, feel free to reach out to me. I'm gonna take down my contact information and share with you guys one more area that I want you to keep on your radar. Okay, so for Team Z, on the left-hand side, we talked about your dashboard, your team page, and your business section. Last but not least, you've got your university tab. Okay, guys, Team Z is constantly changing. We're always looking to add new features and refine it and make it more enhanced so that it, it serves you better so that you can do your jobs better. So. Your university section will give you access to FAQs by network. So you'll go over to Rodan and Fields, and you have access to webinars, tutorial videos, FAQs. So anytime we've got updates, changes to the system, things you need to know, you can always check here first. All right. That is the last thing that I wanted to show you in Teamsy. Feel free to get in there and ask any last minute questions. Otherwise, I really, really appreciate your time tonight, guys. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for being here. Keep an eye out for that replay. And if you need me, you know where to find me. Bye for now, guys. Oh, fantastic. Thank you so much, Jay. It was a real pleasure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you found it valuable. Thank you, Marcy. Thank you for being here, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful evening, okay? Now you can kind of shut off this gal who just won't stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> but I really appreciate it, guys. It's sort of like sipping from a fire hose, but I promise it's going to be valuable for you in the end. 
Thank you guys. And get in there and use it, okay? The best tool for your business is the one you're going to use. Okay, guys, I'm gonna keep my contact information up as you go. Thank you, Sunny. Thank you, Kim. You guys rock. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. And there is the contact information as you go. Thanks again, guys. Bye for now. Thank <clears throat> you.